Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Hello! Hi! Welcome to Natalie and Tara Try Stuff. As always, I'm Natalie. And I'm Tara. <laughs> are we the are we doing NPR today? I don't know what's That's happening. That's what it sounds like. Okay, guys, today is going to be part two of our Atlas Obscura <laughs> Adventure! We are doing a little uh, Griffith Park action today. Got a whole day mapped out. It's a big day. And if we don't leave soon, we're gonna miss it. So, so we're just gonna go. Bye! Bye! What is our first stop, Nally? We are going to try to go see the Garden of Oz. What? Uh, I don't remember what number that is on our list. I will, I'll put that number up right but now. Supposedly, this place oh. is never open to the public. Turn left but onto I saw, St. Andrew's Place. I saw something that said that on Thursday mornings from 10 until noon, it's open to the public. So we got to book it on down there. That's why we're running. Our list that Tara has probably put up by now it's gonna get scribbled on and oh, shite like that man. because over time Whoop. we've already found out that like some of the things are already closed Whoop. and so we've replaced Whoop. them. Yeah. And well, gonna... thanks to the nice people Whoop. over at the Atlas Obscura who are awesome mm -hmm. and very informative, we've learned that things have yes. shut down. Or reopened as something else. Like the, right. one of the hospitals that was abandoned is actually a retirement home now. So we can't go visit so we that. We can't go there. So things are gonna change because, well, we're not just gonna scratch it off. I'm just gonna not do it. We still have to do 50 things. 50, 50 things. Can they do it? 50 things. Oh, puppy. We don't even know if we're getting in yet, Tara. <laughs> we're, we're here, though. So the story is the woman who owned the house above had hired someone to put a little rose garden in and the person who did it put a bed of roses amongst some, they had to make it the cement to like to put them in and then uh. it just looked plain and so that person went and then decorated the cement with some like I'm assuming it's this little piece right here that was the first part the first you know, little like, piece yeah or something yeah. like that and so then it just grew and grew and grew and grew and it reminded her of the Wizard of Oz we were hoping it was going to be open to the public yeah. today but I guess that so, was a lie uh, we are outside this gate and Atlas Obscura does say that it's not open, but then Yelp said that it, it was. So Yelp so. is a liar. <laughs> Liars. Liars. But it's adorable. It's beautiful. Like, letters to wanted, Oz. <gasps> we could write a letter to Oz. <laughs> what? Oh, it's a little mailbox for Oz. Cute. I like it. It's cute. We're here. Uh -huh. Our car's here. <laughs> we need to go this way. Bronson Caves. 0.3 miles. That's not that bad. <laughs> The Bronson Cave is actually a tunnel. <laughs> Not a cave at all. Cave at all. <laughs> no, you just have to shoot it from the side right here. And, it's cave. and now it's the Bat Cave. <laughs> I thought about bringing a cape, but then I needed to sleep instead. <laughs> but such movies have been filmed here as every single Star Trek has had an episode here. <laughs> uh, I wonder if this cave is haunted. Do <laughs> you think it's haunted? No. Oh. Is it not on our haunted LA list? No. Oh. Yeah, this cave is. Oh, it's this... a secondary cave. They're not caves, they're tunnels. It's tunnel, tunnel. Back when, you know, uh, Lone Ranger and all that stuff was on television, all the black and whites, everything was shot here. <laughs> Anytime you needed a cave, they'd shoot it here and then shoot the interior of the cave someplace else. It's been 50 days since our capture. My arm's stuck underneath this rock, and I'm gonna have to cut it off using only this microphone. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Bronson Cave. Pretty cool. Pretty it's cool. really right off the, the path. It's Super not an easy hike. I know that dog. It's a cave monster. <laughs> There's cave monsters. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Seamus. Hi. Oh, oh, you look like Falcor. Oh my god, hi. <laughs> we made friends. We have friends now. With the cave monsters. <laughs> you gonna go? You gonna go follow? These see if this was if this was an episode of Star Trek, those would be aliens. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd be in red. And we'd be in red. <laughs> This house right here is called the Murder House. <laughs> uh, 
story. I don't really remember all the details, but I'll give you the vagueness that I remember. We're gonna do this, how uh, this works. We're gonna do this in the My Favorite Murder style and just kind of give you what we remember. Yeah. Happened. So like, evidently, some man killed his wife and his daughter. Don't remember the age of the daughter. I want to say she was a teenager. Sounds good. With a hammer, and then committed suicide. Pills and a concoction of pills and also acid. Oh God. Like he wanted the job done. But then someone then bought the house and left it vacant for at least 50 years, leaving the furniture, everything. <gasps> it was I no one was living here. There. Yeah. I want to see that house like two yeah. years later. But now someone else has purchased it. And I thought maybe someone was living there. No, it's still empty. But it has now been like there's nothing in it. You can tell it's just it's empty. empty. Gruesome murder happened here tons of years ago. <laughs> How many years? Right. That many years. That many years. Uh, more details for you murderinos. Yeah. Linky link in the comment box. Yeah. I got my directions right here. It's gonna. T I wish to turn right in a moment. <laughs> I will not get lost on my journey. We have landed at the old Los Angeles Zoo, which is an abandoned zoo. Built originally in 1912. Is that what it said? Uh-huh. Ran through the 1930. Housed originally 15 animals, and then it shut down in 66. It's like the old style of zoo where it was just a line of cages, basically, but <laughs> this one's built into the side of the mountain, it looks like, which is kind of cool. It's neat. Let's, uh, let's go look at some uh, empty cages. Some empty cages, yeah. I want to bring Winchester yep. up here. You seem like a child. Busting out of my cage. <laughs> How do those people get down in there? They go real dip right here. Oh, maybe that's it. <laughs> I mean, you look like you're breaking. Yeah, you're breaking rules. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Oh. But how did your phone get in there? You're not supposed to be in there. Those guys are really super cool. Whoa. Ooh. Yeah, we're not going there. But yeah, I can imagine um, like Victorian people with their parasols and their children on leashes. I don't really remember what to do with kids. Like walking up and down this and looking at the animals, they the didn't big hats. Children in public. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I could have been a great Victorian. Yeah, Just have kidding. the kid and give it away. Right? Yeah. No, I don't do any of that. I'm a lady. Of course, I'm a lady. reality is if I was born in Victor Victorian area, I probably would have been poor. Just saying. So we are at the observatory. I am inside and I am wearing my sunglasses because I left my glasses in the car. And These the are car. prescription and the car is very far away. So now when we go to this planet Arium show, I'm not going to be able to see anything. And now I just look like a jerk walking around with my sunglasses on inside. If you come to the observatory, parking is a bear and uh, you may have to hike a while. So oh, plan yeah. on hiking. Yeah, wear your good shoes. Good shoes. Can I come down in here? Just aim nope, that at I just, my, I'm trying to cut your my, sunglasses my out. These are all the people of peeps waiting to see the test of coil. It's crowds and it's 10 minutes till. It's a hot, hot item here. Hot commodity. Hi everybody, welcome to Grantland Observatory. This is our test of coil for this year.
stop, we're at Tiki Thai, a Tiki Lounge in Silver Lake area. Evidently at night it gets so crowded that you can't, there's a line out the door. So we got here right when it opened. So, so that early. We, <laughs> we're day drinking so that we don't have to deal with crowds because we are, um, we don't like people. And I match the building. Look at this. I'm really excited Look about that. I just blend in with this. He's working on your, like, you know, the movie toys where he blends into the couch. <gasps> oh, you know what's going to suck about this? I've got my keys in my hand with the... Oh, no. So the sound might be really bad for that. Just when I was doing, just when I was doing this part. Cocktail time. There's a lot of, a lot of listed room drinks, but there's nothing that says anything about what they are. <laughs> <laughs> longer than we thought we were going to. I mean, the drinks are really good. <laughs> Fantastic. Stop in oh, before dude. it gets too busy. So today, Atlas Obscura, day two in the books. Yes. Yeah. I don't know how many we accomplished. Five? Like six. So we're up to numbers there. Oh. And that means we have this many left to go. Cool. <laughs> All right. As usual, my name is Tara. I'm Natalie. And this was Natalie and Tara Try Stuff. I danced letters. instead Dance of helping. Through the oh, look, this is part of our show now. <laughs> if you like what we're doing, please don't forget to subscribe. subscribe. Also, uh, like, comment on this video. Question of the week is, what's your favorite animal? Monkey. Cat. Lemur, actually. Yeah. It's a monkey-ish. I think it's actually a monkey. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything about my favorite animal. Let's go.